Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How are holding companies taxed? Holding companies are business entities that own and control other companies, assets, or investments, but they do not engage in direct business operations themselves. Here's a breakdown of how they are taxed. Legal separation and tax filings. Holding companies and their subsidiaries are considered legally separate entities. Each company, including the subsidiaries, pays its own taxes based on their specific income. Consolidated tax returns. While each subsidiary can file its own tax return, a holding company has the option to consolidate the tax returns of its subsidiaries. This can simplify the tax filing process and potentially reduce the overall tax burden. However, all subsidiaries must agree to the consolidation. Tax benefits. One of the key tax advantages of a holding company is the ability to shift income to lower tax jurisdictions. This can be achieved by moving profits to subsidiaries in regions with more favorable tax laws. Dividend payments. Dividends paid by subsidiaries to the holding company are generally tax-free. The holding company can then distribute these dividends to its shareholders or reinvest them in other subsidiaries without incurring additional tax liabilities. Personal holding company tax. If a holding company meets certain criteria, such as being controlled by five or fewer individuals and deriving at least 60% of its income from passive sources, it may be classified as a personal holding company, PHC. PHCs are subject to a 20% tax on undistributed personal holding company income, UPHCI. Offset of losses. When filing consolidated tax returns, losses incurred by one subsidiary can be offset against the profits of other subsidiaries, resulting in a lower overall tax liability for the group. Protection from creditors. The structure of a holding company also provides protection from creditors. If a subsidiary faces financial difficulties or goes bankrupt, the holding company and other subsidiaries are generally not liable for the debts of the troubled subsidiary. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.